Good morning, guys. It is February 26th. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I woke up with energy and I can't fall back asleep. So I figured, well, might as well wake up and uh, start the day. So I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna start the day off with a weigh-in and then we're gonna go to the gym and do some fasted cardio. Here goes nothing for better or for worse. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much I weigh. So let's go. All right, here goes nothing. 208 pounds. There it is. And that is the heaviest that I'm allowing myself to get. No more. We're not gonna get heavier than that. So that's it. It's time to make a difference. It's time to start working on myself to make a change. Changes in my diet, in my workout habits, in my consistency. I need to be more consistent. So today, February 26, 2020, is gonna be the start of something brand new. And I want you guys to join me, at the very least encourage me, keep up, keep me honest. And we're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna give myself 16 weeks, four months, from February 26 to June 26, right before July starts. Fourth of July, I'm gonna be coming in a brand new me. You guys are not gonna recognize it. I'm ready, let's get started. All right, so the review is in. The uh, The Nikes are okay. One complaint that I have about them is that they are so tight on the sides of my foot. They squeeze the shit out of them. And I even loosened, I even loosened the laces a little bit and still it's squeezing so hard. Sometimes it made my foot cramp from how hard I felt it was squeezing during my workout. Otherwise, really good shoe, um, seven out of 10 maybe, maybe six and a half out of 10. I think six and a half out of 10. I still like my Ultra Bounce Adidas, Ultra Bounce 2019. Yeah, those are fuego. Those are probably the best running shoes I've ever worn. So I'm probably gonna be sticking with Adidas personally. You know, they say uh, checks over stripes, but I'm probably putting my stripes over checks. Oh, that moment. And the broccoli is done. Oh, okay, that's okay. Oh, content. So we got six and a half ounces of um, cod, four ounce sweet potato, and I'm just gonna scoop a whole lot of this stuff, broccoli. And I'm gonna use some, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Got that. And then season as needed. So there it is. That is lunch. Look at this. What a beautiful day at the park. Holy moly, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so part of this trying to lose weight thing. Hold on, I'll hold it so that we you can see this creeper too. So part of this trying to lose weight thing is also like involving me getting uh getting more active it's kind of hard since i work at a desk job but anything is better than nothing so this is what we're doing we're gonna be uh walking a lot working out a lot and just trying our best to change up some habits into healthier ones it's friday the 28th of february at 5 20 in the morning <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm on break at work and I'm just walking the parking lot trying to get some uh, steps in because I know I know how bad it is to be sitting down all day. So I've been trying my best to just consciously make more of uh, more, more of an effort to be a little bit more active, you know, walk around a little, 
get some vitamin uh, vitamin D or vitamin E. I think it's vitamin E, but I'll uh, I'll double check that. I'll probably correct it in the below. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about my weigh-in this morning. Today's February 28th, 2020. I weighed in at 208.2, but I'm not stressing about that. And here's why. I'm not stressing about that because today's Friday. And since Monday, I've been constantly hitting my macros. And every day I've been meeting them. And my macros for my cutting so far have been 200 grams of protein a day. 300 grams of carbs a day and about 60 gr grams of fat now 60 is on the higher end um, I'm trying to aim for like 50 to 55 so that's what I'm shooting for and we'll see how that works it's been a uh, it's been interesting trying to you know stay within plus or minus five grams of each and every goal. Um, but it's been working so far. Last night, I had a pretty late meal. I wasn't gonna hit my macros with dinner and I ate dinner at like nine o'clock at night. So then I immediately had like my dessert, which if uh, for you guys who don't know, my dessert is literally just two cups of Greek yogurt with granola and blueberries mixed in. And I had that like literally right after dinner and then killed a lot of water and went to bed. So, you know, of course my weigh-in is gonna be heavier today. It's just, that's just how it goes. But I'm gonna keep up the trend, keep up the, uh, the trend of hitting my macros. I mean, not the trend of gaining weight. I'm gonna keep up the, tr the trend of hitting my macros. I think I'm gonna keep it up for about another week. So next Friday, and I'll see where my weight is. And if my weight hasn't really changed or it hasn't changed to where I want it to or it's gone up even, then I'll make adjustments and I'll cut, I'll probably cut back on carbs and shoot for the lower end of the spectrum for fats. So that's where I'm at guys. Listen, I am really motivated this time around to do this right. I'm not gonna look like a liar again and tell you guys that I'm gonna be hitting my macros and that I don't. So I'm doing this for you guys to see that really all it takes is just some dedication and some motivation and perseverance. So hopefully you guys can get something out of this. I'll see you guys later. All right. So over here, I recorded a leg workout with my boy Q. You guys have seen Q before in one of my previous videos. Here we're doing squats. This clip here is actually a come down set. I got up to 315 pounds, but I wanted Q to spot me and not record because I only hit two reps. It was tough. Uh, we only filmed the squats today, but we did a full leg day split. Here you're seeing me do front squats. We only did one set of these before we decided to go hit calves, to go do the leg press and leg extensions. But I'm feeling pretty good so far. It's early in the cut, so you're not going to see any strength losses. Anyways, back to the video. What is up, guys? So today is a Saturday, February 29th, and I forgot to uh, record my weigh-in this morning. But this morning, I came in at 2.08 even. So... It's uh, it's okay. It's it's to be expected. So I'm not uh, I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna stick with my macros. I am on my way to the gym right now to hit a chest workout. I'm gonna see if I can record for you guys. I forgot my gym bag, dude. Oh, it's so so frustrating. It sucks, but it's okay. I'm just gonna have to uh, lift without my straps. Y'all, I forgot my gym bag and my recording equipment so there ain't gonna be no no filming today at the gym unfortunately but what i will do instead is i will put a video of every single workout that i'm doing so you guys can you know try to do it yourselves too because yeah i fuck i fuck this one up guys so that's my bad 
Hey everybody, so this is the last footage of the video. I am going to be going to the gym to hit some cardio today. Today is Sunday, March the 1st. I had a new low weigh-in this morning of 206.2 pounds. I am proud to say that uh, so far it's been a success. I am um, on track to keep losing weight. So I'm going to keep it up and we'll see. I will uh, film a way in tomorrow, five in the morning for you guys. It's really freaking early, but that's before work. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me and staying. I really appreciate the love and the support that I have. And if you haven't subscribed already, then hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.